Today, I'm gonna to show you our attempt to get this laser through our 32 inch doorway. Wish us luck. So when we saw the UPS truck outside, we knew that um, this was our laser and he had to pull off right off the edge of the road. It's kind of a little sketchy. And then this part, uh, he was having me watch. He didn't want to go over the edge of the lift gate, which we've seen happen before. But so I had to watch and tell him when it was there. And then finally we got it where it needed to be, got it lowered down to the ground safely. And we were very thankful for that. We didn't want to lose a laser. So uh, I helped him a little bit. I was pushing as he was pulling and we got it up our little ramp in front of the door so we could start uncrating this. As you can see, uh, myself, my wife, and my son, we were actually all kind of working, getting this uncrated and unwrapped uh, so we could uh, start the process of getting it inside. And I'll say right now, this video is not sponsored by Thunder Laser. They're not paying me to say anything. They were kind enough to give me a discount on this machine in exchange for a series of videos here but they're not paying me to say anything about this so we got the parts carried in got it all unwrapped because we knew we were going to have to start disassembling this machine to get it in our doorway you'll notice this toolbox that it comes with and i believe this toolbox will be invaluable for a lot of things it's got a lot of parts in it i thought we were going to need these screwdrivers for this but we actually ended up not needing the screwdrivers for what we had to do to this there's a little knife a little cutter in here hang on to that because that'll come in handy and these allen wrenches are for sure what you need to get this job done I really like these Allen wrenches. Um, I like how they're set up, but just uh, uh, pick the right size there and you'll see on the inside of the door, there are some little screws that you want to take out and um, just reach on the inside, unscrew it and um, just uh, carefully hang on to them. I don't think you'll have to put these back in. We haven't, but uh, I still like to hang on to all these parts. But you'll notice there's one on each side. So just make sure that you get them both out of this and then go ahead and pull out your little cutter because we're going to uh, undo this little crumb tray part. Just use that little blade. You can use something else if you want to, but this is nice, it comes with it. So we just use a little blade and cut the little zip ties that's holding that. Use the included keys and once you unlock this, you can lift the little front plate out of there, get it out of your way. Now we're gonna move on down to the bottom part. Just uh, do the same thing, unlock both sides there and then you can release it, it lowers down. Then you have to use this little latch here. You can kind of see how I've done it. Once you get the little latch pulled, the whole front door comes off of it. So now we're getting more access to this and we're gonna take the crumb tray out of it and uh, really pretty easy just to grab a hold of this thing. It is much larger than our other crumb tray. So yeah, we're excited about the upgrade we have here. The little support rods, they just lift out of there. There's nothing to it, no trick or nothing. Just go ahead and lift all of the support rods out of the machine. Once you have those out, we are going to secure this door. So I had some tape here. You can use about any kind of tape and uh, just go through the handle and then the little the beam or support that is across there. I just made sure the best that I could to just kind of get it taped. I'm sure there may be a better tape, but this one's pretty easy. It doesn't leave much uh, residue. This is just blue painter's tape and it worked fine for this. So yeah, I did perfectly fine. You'll notice here on the side, go ahead and unlock both of those. This is where we are going to start the disassembly process. And there are eight screws that you need to undo here and you can kind of get them started maybe with that direction and then turn it uh, kind of long ways. And that's what I found to work best. The end of the little Allen wrench has a little ball head kind of on it that allows you to um, kind of move it different directions. So like I said, I really like these Allen wrenches, especially for this application. Just hang on to the little washer. Um, you saw me take that off. You don't want to lose it. This one was kind of tough to get to. I finally got it started and then you can get in there to unloosen it the rest of the way. There is another one that is pretty much the same way. You kind of have to press in just a little bit on that gray piece but then you can get it. In this very back corner, you can't hardly see it on the video, but there's one in that back corner um, that you have to get to, as well as one on the front edge. Um, you wanna just make sure that you get all of these undone. And then there is also another one in the opposite corner. You can see we get it started, just a little bit of a turn there. Then we can move the 
Allen wrench in the other position, we can get it out. Once you have all of those, just go ahead and close that side back up, lock it, and then we are actually going to move to the other side. This side is pretty much the same. It's the same eight screws that you have to remove, uh, just like the other one. So just make sure and get all of those. There are like three extra screws that you'll need to remove and you'll see that coming up right here. They are smaller screws, so make sure you get your smaller Allen wrench. And when you undo this screw right underneath this device, there is a washer. You wanna make sure that you don't lose that. You'll see when I lift it up, it's a tiny little washer that goes underneath that part. So make sure that you hang on to that. You don't wanna lose it. But there are a couple of more screws here, uh, one on each side of uh, this little black base. You wanna make sure that you get both of those undone. There are no washers underneath it, so you should be good to go there. Once you have that undone, just go ahead and close it back. Now you have your base unsecured from the laser. We still had to get it off of this crate, so just kind of pry open on that and get the feet to where you can access them. Once you get that pried apart, then you can actually start moving the laser. We got some help here. I apologize for a shaky video. My son was trying to do this. Um, I actually had my father, my wife, and two other guys that was helping us. We wanted to be careful. We put it on a little cart, turned it sideways as you can see, put it on this cart that was covered in some like carpet stuff so it didn't scratch it up. Then we were gonna try to get it through this doorway. And since it was a 32 inch doorway, it was pretty tight, but it worked pretty good. Again, sorry for some shaky video. It was pretty tight in our store, but as we got it in here, you can see it fit right through the doorway. We didn't even have to remove the light on the top simply because it was a 32 inch doorway, not a 30 inch doorway. But once we got that, we got the base brought in, set it down and uh, just kind of lined it up the best we could and very carefully, we just laid it down on the base. As you can see, we had extra hands and I totally recommend this because it made things much easier. So we just set it down carefully on the base and then once we had it there, we kind of had to wiggle it around just a little bit to kind of get it lined up. Uh, once we got it lined up, all there is to it is to put those screws back in. They were pretty easy to take out and even easier to put in. So just make sure you get all of them in, then start with your support rods um, and just lay them back into it, pretty much the same way you took it out. It's pretty self-explanatory here, but yeah, just lay the support rods back down into the base, get your crumb tray, we're gonna slide it in, and there's a little couple little hooks that kinda, once you get it in there, it kinda snaps down into there so you'll know you have it where it needs to be. And now we've got the chrome tray back in and that's pretty much all there is to that. We're going to install the front door just in reverse of how you took it off. And then once we have that on the other door, we're not going to put those screws back in this one. We're just going to lock it that way. If we need to remove it again, we can close the lid and we're all done getting this inside our business. As you can see, it was a little bit of work to get this thing through that doorway and get it in here. But we've got it now, and honestly, it wasn't quite as bad as we expected for it to be. But it's in here, it's not hooked up yet, we've not plugged anything up. So make sure and stay tuned for that video of us getting this thing all set up and ready to engrave. Be sure to let us know in the comments below what you would like to see us engrave with this thing. We'll try to make that happen. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And until next time, God bless.